Today's story is about a heroic behavior from a man after hearing a kid screaming in the woods. Imagine pulling into a Walmart for a routine oil change and suddenly hearing screams that send chills down your spine. That's exactly what happened to Kelsey Wallace on a Sunday afternoon in Warner Robins, Georgia. But before we get into that story, if you're a fan of strange, mysterious, real-life stories that levered in a story format, you are in the right place because that's all we do. We upload every day, yes, every day, new stories. So if that's of interest to you, please consider subscribing to our channel and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our daily uploads. Okay, let's get into today's story. As Willis was waiting for his oil change, he heard a child screaming in distress. He turned towards the source of the noise and saw a man dragging a child behind the building. Willis and his instincts immediately kicked in. We thought he was using the bathroom, but it took him way too long to come back from behind the building, Willis recounted. The child's screams grew louder and Willis knew he had to act fast. He grabbed his gun and went to investigate, convinced that something was terribly wrong. I heard the kid screaming, please don't beat me. So that's when my instinct kicked in some more. So I sped up and I was determined to find and rescue the kid, Willis said. As Willis approached the woods, he saw the assailant on top of the child choking him. Without hesitation, Willis pointed his gun at the attacker and grabbed the child, rescuing him from imminent danger. If I ain't stepped in and I ain't reacted as fast as I did, the kid would probably be dead. He would have choked on the child cold. Once we got the kid out of the woods, he said the man was going to bid him and live him for the animals. Willis recounted. Willis, along with other bystanders, held the asylum until the police arrived. It was later revealed that the child and the attacker were related and the incident was no longer treated as a kidnapping. Instead, the 67-year-old assailant, Haymnerin Dubey, was charged with aggravated assault and cruelty towards a child. Willis, quick thinking and brave actions undoubtedly saved the child's life. As he reflects on the situation, Willis expressed gratitude that he was there to intervene in the nick of time. Thank God Willis was there and ready to intervene. Who knows what would have happened otherwise, explained a relieved bystander. This gripping story serves us as a reminder that heroes can come from unexpected places and sometimes ordinary people rise to the occasion when faced with high pressure, high state situation. It's a testament to the power of God instincts and the importance of being vigilant and ready to act when somebody is in need. This is Chris with Story Weaver and as always, thank you for watching.